Ooh, black heads, white heads, clock pores. Mmm, so lovely. But you don't need salicylic acid. No, no. Hey, hey, hello, bonjour, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. Well, for today's video, I'm going to tell you basically that you don't necessarily need uh, BHA, aka salicylic acid, or I should say that salicylic acid is from the BHA family, so the beta hydroxy acid family. Just a quick reminder for you, uh, this family of acid are able to be soluble in lipids. Uh, another one from the BHA is beta in salicylate that you find, for example, in some of the Cars RX uh, product, the AHA, BHA, toner, something like that. Uh, it is less efficient than uh, salicylic acid. Also, I have another video about um, BHA and acid and blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can check um, them out. So basically, a BHA is recommended for poor care because like i've just said they can uh, be soluble in the lipids that you have in the pores and they can also exfoliate the inner parts of the pore to shrink them to make all those blackheads be gone and well what i'm going to tell you today is like ditch it and don't use it and i'm going to tell you why because there is a much better alternative uh, at least in over-the-counter skincare so what I've actually really told you about BHA is that the 2% BHA, it is still going to work, but the problem is the limitation of concentration. You cannot have a professional pill with a higher concentration in, in salicylic acid. In that case, you will have like the maximum uh, effect. But in general, especially with stun burn, uh, stun burn, stun burn, ugh. Oh, Again, sloppy English today. But when you, when you have like those blackheads, they are really loving you and they don't want to be gone. This is exactly my case. I do have blackheads on my nose and they love me. They love me so, so much. And BHA, especially for me, is really not um, the solution. But there is one ingredient that is so damn fantastic for this. And this is, yes, you have guessed it, retinol. Yes. And this is uh, very funny because when I've looked at the scientific data, there are basically nothing about retinol and acne, blackheads and white whiteheads. And I'm like, how come? How come is that <laughs> possible? I really do not um, get it. So yes, if you have very stem-born um, blackheads and whiteheads and you don't know what to do, start uh, retinol. Uh, the prescription form, which is not a prescription form of retinol, but the well, well, the one that you can get from a dermatologist is tretinoin that is also so, so good to declog uh, the pores. So what is going to happen with um, retinol is that it is going to be converted into retinaldehyde and then into tretinoin, aka okay, retinoic acid in biology, because in biology, we don't like the word retinoin. Don't ask me why this isn't the medical uh, term. And retinol is going to influence the, size, the cell cycle of the cells in the epidermis, so they are going to proliferate better. And they are also going to help like to make the pores more open. So in the beginning, you will ha probably have some purging. But then the blackheads, they are going to be dissolved, <laughs> like little, or I should say dislodged, because this is what uh, really happens when you start to use them, and especially you build your way up, you will see that the pores starts to be uh, almost like bigger, but the, um, the blackheads by itself is drier, and if you gently push and press, you will see like the blackheads like pop up, like bye bye but it takes time. This is something that is very, very important. One uh, skin cycle, which is basically the time for all your epidermis to renew, it is a, one, a month. So you need to wait for at least two to three cycles, so two to three months to have like the, the maximum effect. On top of this, and this is always something that I tell you that is so important, you need to start slowly with retinol. Uh, it is always better to, to be gentle with it. You increase the concentration and the frequency over time. And like this, you don't mess up because if you apply like straight away 1%, yes, your blackheads are going to disappear faster, but you are risking irritation, flaky skin, etc. is not going to be sexy. So please <laughs> don't do this. So now I'm going to recommend you, of course, some uh, product. I usually advise you to start with the 0.5 retinol. If you are really on a budget, and you, uh, and you don't want to spend like a ton of money, try the one from The Ordinary, the, the 0 0.5, and then you are going to upgrade to one person. Another alternative that is, 
that is the one uh, 30 euros uh, is simply the one from SVR, the ampoule lift. Be very careful about uh, those two, the one from The Ordinary and the one from um, SVR is because they are not going to be very stable. The one from The Ordinary, you need to keep it for six months. The one from SVR is from uh, nine uh, months. The reason is because the damn packaging, this is not a LS uh, one, so therefore there is oxygen that can go inside. There is also light, so don't keep them like uh, I don't know, outside, keep them like lock in in a place when there is no light and don't use it for a very long time. Oh boy, my neighbor is back. Oh no. The best one that are of course more expensive, but remember you need like a tiny bit. Don't start to indulge <laughs> like crazy. The two from Polar Choice, 0 0.3 retinol plus Bakukol. Also what I love is that the nice addition of Bakukol that also has um, an anti-acne um, uh, an anti activity. So therefore, if you have some purging, the bakukul will help to manage the purging because the purging can last for more than a month with a certain people, which is not nice. And then you have the one person. So what you do, you start with the 0 0.3 or the 0 0.5 retinol, maybe three times per, um, per day in the evening. And then you are going to do this for two weeks then uh, every other night for two weeks, every single night for at least two weeks to a month. And then if your skin is fine, if your skin is like, yes, baby, I'm feeling fine, you can try and upscale to 1%. If you're looking at me and you are under 30, you don't really need a uh, retinol has an anti-aging um, molecule. But if you do have some very stubborn, uh, stubborn, stubborn, Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this word on your nose. You can only use it on your nose, actually. But again, uh, don't like go straight away with the, the run percent. Once you have used it for at least a solid month to two months and you are using one percent, you still have some um, blackheads. This is the moment that you can add salicylic acid or this one, PHA, gluconolactone. So this one from SVR, this is the Cydia Clear Active. This one contains 14% of gluconolactone. This PHA, so polyhydroxy acid, is also excellent to help uh, to shrink out the pores. So basically that's it <laughs> for today. I hope you like it like that. You have a bougie anti-aging routine plus care, uh, pore caring. Is that the word? Probably. <laughs> so if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course, and the bell. You can also follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts. I also have um, a YouTube channel in French, en français. So meet me there. Thank you again so, so much for being here. And I will see you next time. Au revoir.